I'm Stephanie Yano, and our team of scientists and engineers here at the University of Alberta have a radical idea that will change the way we diagnose malaria in Africa. In rural villages, families have to travel a long way to reach a clinic to get a diagnosis. Together with Dr. Mbonye from Uganda, we will bring the diagnostic test to them. I'm Anthony Mbonye, I'm Commissioner of Health Services in charge of disease prevention. My main focus is to make sure that uh, we prevent endemic diseases and improve health-seeking behavior of the community. Therefore, we think by partnerships uh, with the development partners, research institutions, we could get effective diagnostic tools where we can uh, address the issue of malaria in Uganda. Our idea is to collect the blood from the patient and test it for malaria within the tube itself. To do this, we've taken a classic blood collection tube that's used all across Canada and redesigned it with a special gel inside. This gel preserves the blood along with any viruses, bacteria, or parasites that that blood may be infected with. The gel also contains all of the ingredients that we need to test for malaria. We can also stack different layers of gel inside the tube to test for many diseases at the same time. Here we see a drop of blood flow into the tube and absorb into the gel. If there's malaria in the blood, the gel will light up. We test the sample by putting the tube inside this instrument. Using a cell phone camera, we can see the tube light up if the sample is positive. What makes this idea so exciting is that it can be used by anyone. A village nurse can collect the blood from the patient and test it right then and there. This will help protect kids from the dangers of malaria and other infectious diseases and will help save lives.